Hello everybody, I am Jared Rossi, Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I will be reacting to Black People Get Their DNA Tested by BuzzFeed News. I have seen a few of these BuzzFeed DNA videos, um, so I'm guessing this is going to be fairly similar to the others where they have, you know, four or five different people who work for BuzzFeed, this one being BuzzFeed News, get their DNA tested, and they just go through the results and you know see what's different and all that you know so this this one should be fairly interesting it's five minutes long um so you know i hope there'll be you know three or four different people at least being that it's going to be black people get their dna tested and it's buzzfeed i'm assuming this is going to be um the american buzzfeed so these will be black people from america so more than likely we're going to be seeing a lot of people where the mixture is going to be uh, you know, probably a large chunk African, but probably seeing a good amount of European, possibly Native American, or even, you know, something else in there. You never know uh, what the nuances of history of who mixed. Um, I think that it will be a pretty interesting video, but I'm not really going to say much else. But before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But with that fun stuff said, let's just jump right into the video. Holy shit. Um, that is, it's not even, no. mostly nervous because I don't know what is going to come out of that test. African is pretty, it's going to be a majority. 100% African. That test comes back. <laughs> and I'm 70% like European. I don't even know what I would do. Probably not. Caribbean <laughs> if she's Caribbean, um, she'll pro she might have some native, she may be one of the ones that has native American. Possibly not, but you know. If she is comes from a Caribbean heritage, that's a very big that's a bigger possibility. I see it more commonly with people who are Afro Caribbean than uh, I guess Afro American is what you could say or African American. Showing black pride by saying I want to know more about my people. Definitely being West Indian uh, has influenced my life. My mother is from Trinidad and my dad is from Barbados. Afro Latina or Latino to me at least means. Okay. embracing that African ancestry. So she may also have some of that Native American as well. A lot of black families, we can just trace our, our ancestry. We can just trace it so far. We don't necessarily have the answers to what, who our ancestors are, but we can take active action now to figure it out. I wonder if he did any sort of family tree or anything. These DNA tests can be great for getting an idea of your family through the ethnicity admixture, and then the genetic matches can be extremely helpful if you are building a family tree to expand it. Actually doing the genealogy research to try to figure it out, it's very difficult. But I have actually helped out a lot of friends of mine who are African American. I've helped them in building their family trees. And for a few of them, I have helped make a breakthrough where I was able to take their family back a, a generation or two into their slave ancestry. And most of the time that that is accomplished, it's through fig, you know tracing the family back to as far as possible. And then once getting as far back as possible, then looking at that last name in the area of where the family is living and trying to find slave owners with that same last name. And if you're lucky enough, you will find a slave owner with that same last name that also has some sort of documentation tied to them beyond a slave schedule, although that can be kind of helpful in just determining did they have a slave about the age and, and gender that you were expecting. But... Um, you know, finding like a will or a testament or, you know, probate records or even, you know, their records sometimes that will name the slaves. And sometimes you can not only get information that, you know, confirms that your ancestor was one of these slaves, but sometimes you can even get information that helps you build a larger family tree. But as far as I know, there's only one video that I can think of. Um, I mean, at least of all the reactions that I've done, 
uh, where they've actually, it's been like about the genealogy and it's been like a channel like this. It was the fine brothers where it was, you know, people reacting to their genealogy, but like, I don't think I've ever seen a Buzzfeed where they're like, you know, people reacting to their family tree. It's always people reacting to their DNA, but I would love to see them do people reacting to their family tree because that would be so much cooler to, you know, be like, here's your great grandfather and here's his story and here's what he did. And, you know, especially for people who are African-American, I mean, if you've watched Finding Your Roots, I mean, the things that they find are absolutely amazing. Um, just to give you a few to look up, like Quest Love's story, a really amazing story. Nas's family story was quite an interesting story. Don Cheadle, his family came from um, slaves who were held by the Chickasaw Nation. His family were sla enslaved by Native Americans. So there's a whole lot going on with history. And when you look into the actual genealogy, that's when you really pull out the story, the narrative, a lot more than just beyond, oh, I'm part African and part European and part this, which is still interesting. But yeah, that's my big rant. <laughs> Come to you, saliva collection kit. And I guess I'm supposed to. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm Melanie. I work in customer care at 23andMe. You spit in a cube, and then we extract DNA at our lab from the saliva, we break up that DNA into short segments, and then we compare it to our reference data or people with known ancestry. Wow. Okay. So I got a little pie chart and a map. Okay. Holy shit. 71.8% okay. Sub-Saharan African. Sub-Saharan African, 60%. 78.4% Sub-Saharan African. Wow. Okay, can I note that I am only 13% European? European is a... Uh, 35.2% European. 20%. I just show the all of the, the ethnicity admixture all together or something. I hate this jumping around. Like, I mean, it's I guess it's fun in a sense, but like to really analyze each one makes it a lot harder because now I can't, you know, I'm getting a piece of each single person separately. Saint European. Maybe they'll show right, a big so chunk. Like, I, was, I was sort of right. Not really. So I'm like super black which is kind of cool <laughs> now i'm definitely gonna let my mom in on this i'm about to call my little sister jay i'm calling my dad to give him the results what do you think my biggest percentage is i would say uh 75 african-american it was 78.4 percent sub-saharan african about 14.3 percent east asian and native american it should have been higher why my mom was the tribe of Carib, the Carib, which is a descendant of Taino. Yeah, see, one of the things that, that's very common is this kind of line of thinking of like, that's wrong because one person in my family was fully. And she may think that, you know, she was fully Native American, but more than likely she may not have, you know, she wasn't. Um, with the amount that she said, I think it was 13%, that would be the equivalent of a great grandparent that is fully Native American, which did, was it her mom that said her mother? Descendants of Taino. Mom um, was the Why? My mom was so the tribe, the Carib, the Carib, which is a descendant of Taino. And that should be pretty, pretty strong. Six. Well, that would, I mean, that 13% is really strong. If it's her mother, that means that it would be her grandmother. Or, and, well, <laughs> this is really hard without knowing their names because it's a lot of hers and hers. The, the um, girl testing, if it's her grandmother who was the fully Native American, then we'd expect about 25%. With about 13%, it seems more likely that her grandmother was half Native American, assuming that it's all just coming from that line of her family, which it could be, you know, different lines. Um, but it, it, it could also be possible that she just didn't inherit as much of that part of her ancestry. And so maybe it is a little bit lower than what she would find. But honestly, if you did her family tree, that would be the way to figure it out. 
because she may be able to take it back to second, third grade grandparents. And then she finds out that, oh yeah, well, my grandmother, she may have been whatever in the tribe, but when you look at her ancestry, well, you know, her, her one parent was fully native American. The other one was only partially native American. And you know, that's why it, it is like it is. So just because the family story says it's one way doesn't mean it actually is that way. 50% sub-Saharan African. Mom is like the predominantly like African side, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like super white. Yeah, I know. From 1720 to 1810, there was technically no West African in our family, but then in 1840, and on it pretty much has been west african no that's not what that means with that what that part is saying is that saying how how close the most recent ancestor that was mostly that comes from so what it's saying is that your most recent ancestor of full african ancestry based on the percentages was likely born between these times. Not that, you know, you didn't have any West African until 1840. Like, doesn't work that way. Which, unfortunately, this happens a lot with these tests. There's a lot of misinterpretation because it's taking complicated information. It's compacting it down to something that direct-to-consumer tests will, you know, people will buy and enjoy. But a lot of people don't really fully understand how to interpret it. So... Does that correlate with slavery? 1840 should be, I mean, that, that has something to do with that era, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, African people were brought from mostly West Africa. And coming to America, there was a lot of, you know, forced mixing that was happening. A lot of these people lost their distinct cultures and their distinct heritage. Did you know of anybody is like, I don't know, great, 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 greats that may have been slaves or anything? I do. On my father's side, my great great-grandfather was a slave so he may it, he may have done some family history if saying it like that my guess is he has worked on his family tree and that's the best way to do it like honestly if they were to do a, a video of just him with his dad going through their ancestry i would think that would be a lot more interesting personally than some of you know some of these dna type videos Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this one right now, but it's mostly just because they're all over the place with like, you know, this person has this, that person has this, and it's hard to really analyze it, each person's, you know, background. Do you see any differently, or do you still love me? I don't see any differently. Yes. I think I see you more cooler now. Oh, awesome. That's cool. dope. Okay, yeah. Everyone is from everywhere. Everyone has different mixtures of That's every true. kind of ethnicity inside of them. I think understanding your background would only make us understand each other a little bit more. All right, um, it was a good video in some ways, not a good video in others. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. I've said it a few times. The reason why I'm, I'm not the big, the biggest fan of this video is just because they were all over the place. You know, it would have been a lot nicer, in my opinion, for them to have shown a snapshot, which I do think, I'm going to try to go back. They, they showed a snapshot for one of them, like, real quick. Like, they were just, like, real big cuts. So yeah, they showed her, she had 0.8%. Oh, oh, they, yeah, they showed a little uh, bit. Okay. Holy shit. 71. There we, oh God, it's so quick. I can't even pause it in time. So yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, but she has 70 point, 71.8. Could we, could we get it? Uh, probably not. I'm, I'm going to end up spending too much time not trying to do this, but yeah, I, I hate when videos don't give the, the information. It's just so lackluster. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, I feel like it would have been a lot more interesting to fully analyze each one's breakdown. But from the little bit that I was able to figure out from what they gave, it does all seem pretty spot on with what you'd kind of expect from what they said. Um, one being Afro-Caribbean, the other being Afro-Latino, and then the third, I think, just being African-American. Um, so, you know, getting, you know, for Afro-Latino and Afro-Caribbean, getting a large amount of that African, getting some Native American, and then some European along with it. And then for African-American, you know, getting getting the African, but also getting that European. 
possibly sometimes getting that Native American mixed in as well, but that's really not as common as it is with Afro-Latinos and Afro-Caribbean. But maybe one day BuzzFeed will do something in, uh, in terms of actually doing family trees and genealogy, um, you know, because I, I think that would be much more cherished by them and their families uh, to be presented like a family tree or something than just kind of, you know, here are your DNA results and, you know, they'll kind of enjoy it and maybe they'll log in every once in a while or something, but more than likely they probably aren't that into it and... You know, these are the type of people that take the DNA test that annoy other DNA test takers just because with a lot of test takers that are into the genealogy, the biggest pet peeve is having a DNA match that they can't figure out who it is and won't message them back, usually because they weren't that into it. They got the admixture results, laughed a little bit and thought, oh, that's interesting and never thought about it again. And a lot of it's so frustrating when you have like a match where you're like, just answer me and they're not there to do it. And so it's just it's it's like a big tease of genealogy. Like, you know, there's a secret hint hidden behind this person, but you have to figure out the person first. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It is completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.